This week, our lecturer, Carla Maxwell, led the class in a detailed exploration of socialisation and reflection. Socialisation is a dynamic, interactive process that provides individuals with habits, skills and knowledge for participating as effective members of groups and societies and is a human phenomenon. According to Burns 2010, page 5 in Handel, Gahill and Elk 2007, page 84, as quoted by Maxwell C. 2014. Or is it? I would argue that animals also engage in socialisation with other animals, humans and the environment. Take a dog for example. Our German Shepherd thinks he is a bodyguard for our pack uh, or our household. As a pup we took him to training classes where a section of the class was devoted to socialisation. Various living and mechanical stimuli were presented and gradually brought closer to us. Our dog had to learn to distinguish between threat and unknown so that he could function in his role as our protector without taking on a new role of posty killer. Even in the wild, animals must interact with the environment and other animals to learn their function. While socialisation was interesting and relative to my work in early childhood, I was most actively inspired by our discussion on reflection. The following day, I discussed my learning with the director at our childcare centre. We developed a way in which this new information could help us improve on some issues recently identified by our centre's families. I spent a few hours discussing reflection, its various forms, the essential components and their use in early childhood and our plans for 